not a very pleasant picture. This is my one-piece Kohler toilet that has been a bit of a nightmare since we purchased it a few years back. Uh, the latest nightmare, latest chapter is I just wanted to change the seat that cracked and lo and behold the bolts are not coming out. I had to cut around the seat to get the, the attachment area to come out and that took quite a while and now the bolts are locked in there and because it's a one piece there's actually no nowhere underneath that you can actually reach and adjust those um, so they are not coming out and I've been looking uh, researching what to do and it looks like I'm gonna have to take a hacksaw to cut those bolts and then drill out what's left inside in order to put um, a new bolt in and new pressure pieces for the receptacles in as well. Uh, this toilet has really been a string of disasters um, causing flooding and sewage in the basement of uh, the house that we owned, a uh, rental house that we had with uh, septic. And so I moved it here where we have sewer and we've just gone through a lot of different plumbing issues with this toilet. Uh, the flappers, multiple flappers leaking, uh, causing the toilet to run endlessly. Um, we've replaced them numerous times, but can't seem to get the flappers to last more than a couple of months before they go. So I would highly advise anyone who's thinking of buying a one-piece Kohler to look elsewhere because they really are uh, problematic in really every respect. Okay, it's about 15 minutes later and I've gotten through the first of the bolts with a small hacksaw. So now it's on to bolt number two. Okay, so now we've gotten both of the heads of the bolts cut off and now we're gonna have to try to drill these out Again, this is really absurd that you have to go through these stages with uh, the Kohler one-piece toilet. So finally, after about, I would say about two hours of work, I was able to get these things um, out uh, by drilling them and uh, using a screwdriver around and sort of pounding the metal around the um, receptacles, the old receptacles for the bolts, and then finally taking an old drill and just and a hammer and pounding them down into the inside of the ceramic casing of this one-piece toilet. Really a ridiculous amount of work and effort to go into changing a toilet seat. So now I'm waiting for the uh, the new bolts to arrive. I had to order a bolt set um, which will take a couple of days and we'll see what happens. Okay, well now it's a few days later and um, my Kohler seat replacement kit, this $12 kit I found on Amazon, has arrived. It's got the special uh, receiving screws that sit into the holes down here. Um, unfortunately, you can't, I bought a seat, but you, you can't use these kinds of typical standard screws for the toilet, these kinds of bolts, because there, these bolts do not come through on the other side of the toilet. They actually sit inside the ceramic area. So we're gonna finally get the seat back in working condition. So now you have to take the washer and the locking washer and put it on the bolt and put that into this um, uh, anchor assembly. And the only purpose of this is to get the anchor assembly set properly. Once that's done, you're going to take that bolt out and you're going to wind up using the screw that came with this. So a very complex pro process to put this together, which is really, as I keep saying, ridiculous. But this is what we got to do. Now you've got to take this install arm and... Gonna push this, this all through the, I'm sorry, 
this all through the top here like that. I'm oh, sorry, this goes back together like this. The washer sits on top like that. This piece gets put back together. And then when you're through assembling this crazy install arm, it looks like this. Purpose of this whole thing is to get the receptacle piece mounted into the base so you could then install the screw. So in order to do this, you know, this has to go all the way down. It's not going very easily. So I'm gonna have to whack it in there a little bit. Hopefully I'll be able to get it in. Now it looks like I'm gonna need to get a hammer to do this. Okay, so tightening down these bolts. Look, I've got it pretty tight now. So now I have to loosen, loosen this. Looks like I have that receptacle finally set. We're going to do the other side now. But they do point out you don't want to lose your washers and lock washers. At least your washer. We'll do the other side. Okay, so we're setting up the last anchor, taking out the bolt. Our toilet saga continues on with the uh, Kohler One Piece Toilet from Hell. Um, I did get a seat, uh, and unfortunately, a typical toilet seat, you'll see that there's really no way to connect a regular toilet seat to the Kohler One Piece. You have to buy their pretty expensive toilet seat. Um, but I did find a company that made a uh, an adapter kit which I ordered um, took about three weeks to get it so I've been taking my life in my hands using this toilet the last couple of weeks but finally this thing arrived and I'm gonna see if this actually works and uh, this is what they look like these are the adapters little plastic adapters they were about twelve dollars for the set and let's see if they're gonna work so it looks like <clears throat> These have to be placed underneath like that. I already put one in here. Line them up with the, uh, the receptacle holes. And let's see, let's put one of the screws in here. And the other screw will wind up going in here. Let's see if we can these guys in. Okay, that one seems to be working. And yeah, let's come over here for this one. Oh boy, that's not good. Hmm. 
Well, the fun continues, so check this out. I was trying to install you know, the screw and the adapter in here, and I hit a point where the screw just kept turning aimlessly and I heard a little clink inside. And the receptacle that I installed a couple weeks ago when we bought the uh, receptacle adapter kit is broken. So I've got one side installed and one side that is now loose. And it looks like I have to go back and buy another one of these um, receptacle or anchoring kits. I've, I've actually tried to hammer these things through the hole and uh, they will not go through. So this is not the answer as well. These do not work. So I would tell you, do not buy these things. So I saw online, there's another video where another gentleman recommended using these expansion nuts, uh, which I couldn't find at hardware stores, but uh, he had suggested Home Depot and sure enough, I was able to find it at Home Depot, uh, another expansion nut. Um, he also suggested that we use a 10 32nd by one and a half inch stainless uh, screw with this. And let's see what happens. Well, this is encouraging. It actually fits into the hole. It's a major achievement. We got the expansion nut, we got the screw. I did put a washer in between, to give it a little more stability. So let's see what happens here. Not feeling any friction yet. Yeah, I'm starting to get a little bit of a friction going. Feels like the nut is expanding in the hole. That's a good sign, I guess. Get a little tougher to turn it. Definitely getting tougher now. So something's happening. It's a good sign. Okay, it's really tightening up there. And that's about as far as I can go with it. So let's see, this is very encouraging. Let's get the seat back over here. We'll push the seat back over, push our caps down. And oh my God, I think we have no, maybe not. Let's try this one again. Feel like we're real close here. Let's figure out what's going on here. There we go. Oh, I can't believe it. Yeah, that's definitely, definitely on there. Hallelujah. So this is sort of weeks in the making finally got this seat attached. So the, don't buy those kits, those expensive Kohler kits. You know, don't buy these things. Um, what you need to pick up is um, the expansion nut. Buy two of these, save yourself a major headache. And then couple of screws I wish I did this weeks ago it would have been relatively easy after the very difficult part of removing the old rusted screws um, and then we were able to adapt a regular Bemis toilet seat to the Kohler because I refused to pay $60 for a Kohler seat there we have it now save yourself the heartache if you haven't bought the toilet yet do not buy one of these Kohler one-piece toilets uh, that would be the smartest thing but if you're stuck with one, at least um, here are some tips for getting a decent seat on there without having to pay the extortion money that Kohler wants. There we go.